Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. While it is uh, two hours and 37 minutes into the 27th day of October, I did have to check. <laughs> Didn't know this on my own. But anyways, uh, doing this now because I know afterwards I'm not going to vlog uh, at this transition uh, right now. I'm going over to the Family, family Forever, Forever Forever Vlogs. I'm leaving Mc, McNeil's. I was over at uh, Brimley Rich for a bit. Uh, watching her vlogs. Uh, I'm mixing my cereal. At 2-3 o'clock in the morning, I don't feel like a burger, McDonald's, or anything like that, or a steak, or what have you. The... The, the appetite of choice is basically breakfast for dinner, and it's, it's, uh, see if we can see that there. It's corn pops mixed with, uh, honey nut Cheerios. That's actually a very good combination. Uh, that's my new, my new thing of, uh, I've actually been doing this for a couple of years. I've been mixing my cereals, uh, to get new flavors, so, uh, that's what I enjoy. I, just, I am more adventurous in terms of, th of things, but again, I'm going for taste, <laughs> so as long as it tastes good. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's all that's going to be here for now. I think this is uh, this is short uh, because uh, I don't really know what to say at this point. <laughs> so this is the transition point. If I can if I can figure things out to say something else to say, I'll probably come back. But uh, the, oh. It depends on how tired I am. Alright, see you later. Well, it's 20 hours and 3 minutes into the 27th day of October. It is time for a package opening, something that came in earlier today. Uh, but I'm just now getting up. Today is our sleep all day day. Sleep all day day. <laughs> uh, so now we're opening the package. And here it is here. The tracking on the uh, packages lets me know what it is. These are uh, USB chargers. These are US, uh, uh, here's the plug. And what these do, these cubes, little cubes here, give me uh, a nice four four charge points, and it's three amps, so it keeps most of the stuff charged. I don't really have any problem. When it was just three at uh, two point four or two point one, some of the stuff wouldn't charge properly, but uh, this charges very well. So uh, I had. I got four before. I got getting four again. Uh, probably in about a month or so. I'll probably order another four. Gonna have to wait and see how things uh, go. Anyways, uh, onward and upward to the rest of the day, and I will see you uh, tonight outside for the observation vlog and. I'm in two minds about what I want to do, but we'll go from here. And we'll sort of figure out when we get out there. Alrighty, take it easy. Well, it is uh, three hours. Uh, uh, five minutes into the uh, 28th day of October 2021. And we've been here at the back research desk doing some uh, watching uh, YouTube uh, do the YouTube stroll, and then also uh, scrolling through Instagram, uh, and sort of think about things. It's, I'm trying to f think of how to phrase things. I don't mean to be critical of people in many cases in terms of uh, uh, of being negative, but in terms of uh, understanding the situations that are going on that people find themselves in. And this includes uh, Mrs. L from uh, of Lynn's Warriors and, and Lionel LeBron. That's it. 
Len LeBron, uh, Lynn's warrior, Lynn's warrior is Lynn, uh, is, uh, Lynn Shaw, is, uh, uh, Lionel LeBron's hus uh, wife. <laughs> uh, I'm having a hard time keeping my words together because, uh, the fatigue has set in. It's sort of the end of the, near the end of the night. Um, she is, in many cases, completely missing the target. Uh, a lot of people t want to do well. They want to seem like they're doing something. But a lot of times, there's a lot of misdirection out there. There's a lot of... Well, in many cases, even sales pitches, PR, is not designed to give you the truth. It's designed to sell you a particular a particular, a particular, a particular um, uh, product or service. And so it directs you. It, it leads you in the direction of the purchase. Uh, that's the prior... And it's not that truth can't be pulled out of something like that. It's just, again, you got to understand that when something's a sales pitch, that you need to understand that, that it is a sales pitch. And also a lot of jargon, and you'll throw, they'll often throw out some science. If there's a technical product that you want to, you want, you want to impress people with their technical skills, and you throw out some of these different terminologies that maybe some people know or they may have heard about, but now it sounds well <laughs> scientificy. Uh, <laughs> now I know scientific isn't a word; it's just sort of to qualify the term. But it's in that vein. It's in the vein that they'll take something that looks like science, present it as science, and now this becomes the truth. And it's kind of how everything. Everything to a certain degree, and this is what Lionel's noticed, is a work. It's a sales pitch. It is theater. The amount of truth that's actually there is very min min minuscule, but you, th that doesn't necessarily mean the truth isn't there. You just simply have to search for it. It depends on how much time you're willing to do to sort of unravel uh, the mystery that is there in terms of figuring out what's actually going on, what they're trying to, what they're trying to sell you. Ugh. And the thing is, what they'll do is they'll, they'll they'll run a cycle on something. And typically, what they'll do is either they'll montage out the more difficult parts, which take a long time, or the way they cut it out, they do it with the the magic of 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 uh, video. So if I I cut my I cut the video here, it's uh, three o'clock. About three o'clock in the morning. I come back at eight o'clock in the morning, but say, "Oh yeah, yeah, we've been away just for a few minutes." Well, no, you've been away for well, <laughs> technically, yeah, you've been away for a few minutes because a few minutes is more than a couple minutes. Uh, so in the time you've been away, let's say we get we come back around eight o'clock. Uh, we do another transition video. It's uh, five hours, five hours times sixty minutes is uh, uh, thirty. Um, uh, so we're basically at the 300 minute mark. So we've been at 300 minutes, uh, uh, from now till 8 o'clock. But the thing is, is if I edit the thing together, it's just a couple seconds. And this is what they'll do, is they'll take something that takes a long time to do or produce on the optimal setting, show you the results, oh yeah, this is done in 20 minutes. Because they have a setting that says 20 minutes, you know, the fast setting, but doesn't necessarily produce that result. You have to use the 20 hours to get that setting, to, to get the result that they're showing you. So they haven't fundamentally lied. They're just omitting certain factors that would uh, produce what they're showing you. In other words, they'll show you the top of the line model, but, all, but, uh, but say, give you the price of the low end model or the model without as many features. And this is kind of how the news works. The news is all like that. The news is about product, product placement, sales, PR. Uh, it is the, 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 the theater of the world where you have your political figures playing into the, uh, into the, uh, into the work, into the, uh, play, uh, into the, all, all the world of stage and we are merely players. 
Uh, it was actually from Rush and <laughs> from Shakespeare. Rush took it from Shakespeare and I'm taking it from Rush. And the thing is, we the world is an act. It's, the world is the work. This is the way it is all around us. And there are people who will fit into this and people who don't fit into this. I'm one of the people who don't fit into this. I've never been on the trend of anything. Uh, so, I am where I am because uh, I just don't fit anywhere. I mean, you know, but that's okay with me. I don't mind not fitting in. Uh, I'm typically the observer. I'm typically on the outside of almost every group. Uh, I don't have a close group knit of friends that I hang around with on a regular basis or anything like that. I see people occasionally, but not uh, on the level that uh, other people where they're out on uh, out to event, you know, um, social events on the almost uh, a, a uh, uh, let's say a daily basis. Some some people I know some people are out, out on a daily basis doing social stuff. Other people. Maybe once or twice a week, uh, they'll go to a friend's house, they'll have uh, coffee, dinner, and whatever. Uh, I don't have anything like that. My social environment is extremely limited. Uh, I do now have people I see while I'm working outside, where I'm doing my observation. I have these, uh, the, there are these dancers from the dance school that's across from me. Uh, they have, their, their section of the building has a covered alcove in there, so that if things start, the weather turns south and starts thundering and, and, and raining, I have a, 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 a covered area to go sit in to do my observation. So, uh, and I ended up meeting them and talking to them. So, we have a good rapport in terms of, you know, uh, occasionally discussing things. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, is that as I've gone gone through TikTok, I've gone through um, Instagram and the, you know the reels that they have on there. It's not that difficult to find the more specific sources of where the tra the human trafficking is coming from. It's not that difficult at all. But they haven't sat down, sat down and done anything like that. They haven't presented the problems. They haven't. Tar I mean, Disney. There's a huge history behind Disney in terms of child trafficking. They're known for that. This is this is what they talk about. You know, the Hollywood cult that, that that's involved with uh, 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 sexual abuse. This this is this is Harvey Weinstein. But they've done nothing with it. They've done nothing. It's easy to throw mud and t put your targets on big. Well, why big tech? Because big tech is anonymous. There's not really anything there. It's another work. It's another uh, 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 empty target. I mean, the police, I mean, police abuse. Okay, yeah, you're right. Police abuse is there. It's not specifically racial. It's just it's it's bad policing. It, it, this, it's been shown uh, from Stanford University. The Stanford University University experiment showed the problem. This is Dr. Phillips and Barrow. This is his work. 1970s have known about this. But the problem is not a is not a a state or a federal issue. It's a municipal issue, and so BLM got its focus wrong. Same thing with Antifa. Antifa got its focus wrong, and they were saying, "Oh, we'll solve the problem." As we look at Portland, look at where Antifa did their work and sort of had their success in taking things over. The place is worse. The, the more crime, you know. Uh, more deaths, more you know, people being shot with guns. You know, the you know, for the people who say, "Oh, we need to have gun control." That's where the highest gun. That's where your highest gun violence is. I mean, look at Chicago. I mean, look at the gun violence in Chicago. So the thing is, is you as you sit down and look at what these what's going on, you begin to realize that there's a lot of 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 partial truth out there. And a lot of times, it's simply just for a story. There is nothing more than that. And so what happens is that the Lynn, Lynn Shaw is a TV producer. She's got her bit now that she's chomping on. But she's not going to do anything with it. The, the politicians who were happy when talking to her and stuff like that, they're doing it for the camera. That This is something that looks good. As soon as the camera's off, they're back to what they're normally doing. Which is nothing. 
So, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I'll, I'll transition back to, uh, I'm going to finish up, uh, I'm going to watch some uh, Kim Possible now, I'm just finishing the YouTube stroll. And the thing is, is that, like all things, there there are difficulties with YouTube, there are difficulties with uh, with, uh, with uh, Instagram, but you work through them. Anyways, uh, uh, see you in a couple of hours. Well, actually, more than a couple of hours, a few hours, whenever I get up again. Well, I was just about nine minutes into the 29th day of October 2021. Happy birthday to me, if you will. Um, <clears throat> just got in from uh, doing my observation. I sat down, uh, got another bowl of cereal. There's nothing like uh, cereal and milk to uh, really sort of... Uh, for late nights like this, if you're doing work late at night, uh, uh, I don't know what it is. It's like this sort of continuous uh, breakfast for dinner thing. This is the best thing around. Occasionally, I do have a craving for like a Big Mac or something like that, but uh, not always. And it gets rather expensive. This is rather inexpensive. So this is my standard go-to. In many ways, this is some of my comfort food. I have other comfort food, but you have to make it. So, <laughs> uh, you, you, when I come in, I'm, I'm a little tired. I'm a little fatigued. It's uh, the cold outside. It's about uh, it's about uh, 46 degrees Fahrenheit outside. There is a well. The nor'easter just left because I was showing my uncle. Uh, from the satellite picture that the nor'easter that the, that uh, New York, New Jersey, and Boston had, that he, Boston had, uh, came all the way up. It was uh, went through Toronto up to the Hudson's Bay. There was one massive storm, and so we had uh, the nor'easter just finishing yesterday. But tonight we have another type of nor'easter, if you will, the same type of weather conditions uh, coming through from the west, and so. Uh, I was sitting out watching that and sort of listening, uh, doing the acoustical physics with the trains. Yeah, so the uh, w the weather, what most people look at say is weather watching the clouds. It is actually atmospheric physics. So I did that out there. I've got everything matched up with the satellite. I've got to do some record taking probably tonight. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, I've been too, too, too tired, too lazy, if you will. Uh, so I haven't been doing the record keeping that I should have been doing. Uh, over the last few days, but that's kind of neither here nor there. Uh, I do have enough records to do to, to uh, miss a few days here and there. Uh, but anyways, this this is, goes back into the whole thing of of how the public perceives things. Like I do this on a daily basis. This is what I do on a regular basis. So I'm typically at the at my observatory on a regular basis, doing observational work, either on the computer or. Uh, uh, outside, this is my part of my regular routine. And I come back here to me to the, to the media research desk, have my bowl of cereal, and continue on with the YouTube stroll and sort of doing some more observations through there. Then I have some notes to take, uh, to, uh, notebooks to sort of fix up, and other different odds and ends, different tasks that need to be sort of checked off. Uh, and I typically finish around five o'clock in the morning. That's when I the, the usual end time. And so, when people often mention about things in the oh, did you see this? And I said, well, I don't know what, which, what, what specific event you're talking about because I see events on a daily basis. You know, solar flares and uh, coronal mass ejection. And I said, there, people talk about, oh, a solar flare, did you see the solar flare? And the thing is, is that when a lot of people see the solar flare, they think that's the coronal mass ejection and it's not the coronal mass Coronal mass ejection. The coronal mass ejection is something different. It's a different event than the solar flare. The solar flares lead into the coronal mass ejection, ejection but it's not the coronal mass ejection itself. So these are two fundamentally different things. But the person from the outside doesn't know this because they're only showing in the paper the 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 uh, the the, the, uh, the solar flare. 
And so when they only sing something large, you know, they're seeing something larger than the typical Whitsy. And again, it's something that simply catches catches their eye, catches their attention. It's not that this is the only solar flare. There's a lot of them. there's a lot of solar flares, and the size of them, I guess I see large solar flares in terms of the size of the solar flares. Almost uh, not weekly, but I see it uh, almost on a daily basis. Every day there's a large solar flare, and typically the last maybe one to two days before there is a coronal mass ejection. So the larger flares, the ones that people catch with people eye, they're the one that produces the uh, coronal mass ejection, and actually they connect it to two other large uh, uh, solar flares as well. Oh. And they team up either producing a fireball or a loop, like like someone was blowing a sw smoke ring. These are some of the features I've seen, and they, 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 I've seen them on 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 a, on a regular basis. I would say more than more than once a week. So twice a week for sure, if not more. Uh, so when you step away, sometimes you, you, some of these more spectacular events that be, catches people eye occur when you're sort of taking a break and not there at the telescope or there at the observatory. Oh, did you say this? And well, <laughs> Sometimes you say yes and sometimes you say no. It just really depends on where you are in the uh, whole uh, the whole scheme of things. And this is kind of what, what happens with a, a large chunk of uh, your conspiracy theorists. And they're not meaning anything derogatory by it. And the conspiracy theorists, once again, sit on both the left and the right. What happens is the conspiracy theorist is a person who sees part of the uh, information, not the entire thing, because there's a barrier. Sometimes if they're not doing the research themselves, they're not going to have the experience and know, okay, this is what this is. They'll see it, they'll say, oh, this is, a, this is something spectacular or something important to understand or to see, to note, uh, but they won't understand the significance because they don't have any experience to sort of place this uh, event in. And so it sits out by itself, and it would be incorrect to draw conclusions uh, from a from a uh, observer point of view uh, from the one basic event. But a lot of the conspiracy theorists do they on the one event, on the one idea, on the one factor, they'll make and break their case on the entire the, the entire case on this one factor. And as I said, you have to go see you have to go to multiple points. You have to take your notes, and it's it's, it's tiring. It, you know. Um, Lionel wants people who pronounce English properly, right? Uh, so <laughs> I can't say that I pronounce English properly all the time. It depends on how tired I am. If I'm exhausted and I'm not really thinking properly and the, my coherence of thought is off, then I'm not going to speak properly. I, I have this problem, so does my niece Claire, this is part of the neurological, neurological disorder. There's a tendency to mumble words. So, you know, you know, I'm mumbling, I stumble, I stammer, and sometimes stutter. This doesn't mean the person's not intelligent. This doesn't mean the person can't communicate that well. There is an issue in the communications. And this is a lot of times the, 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 one, the, the professors and the researchers that I've known who knew the most spoke the least. Uh, because they were lab rats, they were library rats, and they were very rarely socialized. They weren't social people. And so they didn't have the social capacity uh, that a person who was, you know, the erudite professor with the, you know, the, 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 the tweed jacket with the, with the patches on them, you know, the, the, the black turtleneck. That's a very specific type of professor. And they are there more, more often than not, they're there to impress people. It's about the prestige of being a professor. They're the ones who actually know the least. Okay, they they have great social skills. They can talk a great game, but in the academic and this is what uh, Lionel pointed out about the academic lawyers that they are in a world of their own. They, they create their own reality, and more often not that reality does not meet with the real reality. There's no there's no sense of reality, and so there are in many cases. They're, they're they're giving out these grand grandiose ideas and, and they never work out. Why? Because there's no there's no sense of reality. There's no uh, sense of of how things actually work when you're not in this particular environment. You know, in, in a very padded, very safe environment. The 
the, uh, the, the uh, environment of the Ivy League, which is very posh, very polite, quiet, you know, well-mannered. Uh, that's not the real world. And unfortunately, a lot of your policymakers tend to want to be inclusive, included or inclusive in this sort of uh, Ivy League sense. And a lot of the politics, a lot of the policies that come out of the LARP, of the, of the, uh, LARP that is Davos is exactly this. the same thing with the uh, those who are the Green and Movement, the Green Movement, the uh, uh, International P Panel on Climate Change. They're all LARPers, they're all LARP nerds, but again, they're tending towards the area, they're tending towards the Ivy League. They're very academically oriented, and they have no sense of reality. Anyways, uh, I think uh, that's it for the notes now. Uh, on to uh, Yaoi Vlogs. I've got everything queued up, and uh, got, I said I've got my cereal ready, and it's waiting for me, so got to eat it. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.